uh, then you're not aware of, of uh, any of this. But it's, it's not a complicated story. <coughs> Harvey, uh, I'm going to read comments from three people about him, and we'll spend two or three minutes with that uh, sort of reading. But Harvey was one of the people that's a classic, I don't know if it's classic, he was an amazing academic, totally academic. This guy contributed to AIB and BALAS and to uh, educating students, and he never wanted to be in the spotlight. He just did all the hard work and let other people like me stand up and talk and you know, get your name on the program. But Harvey ran the Western chapter of AIB for many years. Um, he is uh, from Medellin. Uh, he spent most of his professional career in the United States at the Monterey Institute of International Studies. Uh, teaching international business. But it's just amazing as you, as you talk about him, you think about, I, I've known him for many years, and you think about what he did. His contributions aren't uh, up there in the top ten cited articles on Latin America or on international business, but he has contributed to the literature. It's just he's contributed so much institutionally that it's wonderful to have a person like that, and, you know, a friend like that, uh, as part of our team. And it's a shame, obviously, to lose him. So I want to read a few comments, and it's not going to be uh, morose and bring everybody down. I think it's just a celebration of Harvey's uh, life and contribution. So let me just take a couple minutes to read this. And it's not because uh, I can't remember things. It's just this, these are the words of three different people. So Jerry Har, for example, the president of Balas, made these remarks at the Balas meeting back in uh, March. Uh, so I'm just going to read a couple paragraphs here. On February 27th, a long-standing dear friend of Balas and the Academy of International Business and Academia in general, Harvey Arvelais, passed away after a brave fight with cancer, surrounded by his family at home in Colombia. A faculty member at the Monterey Institute of International Studies, Harvey, who many of you knew, was in word and in deed a gentleman and a scholar. And Jerry says, I, in the many years I knew Harvey, he was never without his warm and engaging smile, a kind word for all, and an enthusiasm and zest for life that were incomparable. Harvey was always eager and proactive to volunteer, help, contribute, and give of himself. With Harvey, it was always about altruism, never self-interest or personal gain. And that's certainly shared by the rest of us. Uh, Joe Ganitsky, who is, uh, was the dean at the Universidad de los Andes, and then moved front in Colombia, and then moved to the University of Miami, uh, actually now quite a few years ago, uh, also knows Harvey for a long time, and he said, Harvey was a true family man, a loving husband and a role model for his son, and an excellent academic whom I had the privilege to with whom I had the privilege to collaborate. He was a disciplined worker, actually working harder than one can imagine. He was a caring individual, offer often donating funds for scholars of limited means in order to attend professional meetings. Uh, and then I, my comments, I've never met a more unassuming, dedicated academic than Harvey. He was deeply committed to his family and to international business teaching and writing. Perhaps what was most striking about him in the world of academic organizations is that he always participated in the meetings of AIB and BALAS, taking roles, <coughs> excuse me, taking roles of responsibility and usually ones with little recognition. He unfailingly gave an immense effort to do the best job possible and made our organizations better because of that. Uh, and finally, Jorge Talavera, the president of ESAN University in Peru uh, and the longtime head of Pladea. Uh, Jorge says, for me, he was everything people admire and wish to achieve, but most importantly, he was a complete person with solid principles and values. In essence, Harvey was a good man in every aspect of the term. We will all miss Harvey greatly, and our hearts go out to his family on their tragic loss. Uh, and then he said, makes a few more comments, and finally, let us all strive to live the kind of life that Harvey lived, and let us cherish his memory. So I think that's a very, very nice tribute to Harvey. Um, I think it gets across a good bit of, of the, the style that he had, and for me it was a lot easier to read it than try and say it uh, and get choked up. So uh, as, as I would be emotional, because I am very emotional, I'm happy I was able to get through that <laughs> without getting choked up, because Harvey was really a great friend. Okay, so those are uh, background points as to why we said that this is a celebration of the contributions of Harvey Arvidais to AIB. And now we'll start the session.